Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Let's do this. So, I've thought a lot about how I'm going to beat Roxanne. My team is as follows, going into the first gym. It can't be changed. Phantasm can handle the first trainer. Probably in just a couple of hits. Geodudes cannot stand up against Water Gun. Neither can whatever else that trainer has. Phantasm can get me to Roxanne by himself. Of this, I am confident, but... How do I defeat her? Well... I could send in Mikale. I could send in Mikale first, and I could attempt to have her sweep her team. I can use Double Kick. I don't know how many hits a level 12 or so Geodude can take, but her last Pokemon can take quite a few. I don't know, maybe it would help the situation if I were to use Focus Energy at the beginning of the battle? Just to um, make it so that Double Kick can deal damage more efficiently, but... I don't know if that's a worthy idea, I don't know if that will make me lose more turns, so I think I will probably try it and just see how that goes, and hopefully Mikale won't die. Now, her first Pokemon is a Geodude, I remember this distinctly, Phantasm can defeat the Geodude, but one hit from a rock type move and there goes my beloved Modest Wingle. We can't have that happen. There is one foolproof way to defeat Roxanne. There is one way that I can ensure that I defeat her, and you've probably thought of it by now. I could use Phantasm to defeat the first Geodude, and then switch him out for someone else, not Mikale. If I switch Mikale into a Rock Tomb, that could be disastrous, but... I'm not a blood merchant. This would allow me to defeat Roxanne. That is almost certain, but... Is it worth the terrible price that I would pay? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't want to. I don't want to find out. I don't think I can risk trying that. I think I'm just going to have to use Mikale and hope and pray to whatever God I believe in for the best. <sighs> Let's do this. This shouldn't be too difficult, I don't remember what Pokemon he has, but I am certain that they're all very weak to water. Here's a Geodude. The first test of Phantasm's water gun Geodude destroying skills. As you can see, they don't really stand much of a chance against a concerted water type assault. And I'll grow a couple of levels from this, maybe. If I'm particularly lucky. And another Geodude. Eight power points remaining on Phantasm, but that should be more than enough. That should be plenty. Maybe I'm less lucky than I think, and it will not be plenty, but it has been alright so far. Okay. First trainer has been defeated with no losses, and now for the second. The anticipation is continuing to build. He has one Pokemon. It's a Geodude of level 11. Phantasm should have no trouble defeating this one with a well-placed water gun. We've swept the gym trainers so far, but... we have taken no losses in the process, but... This is it, the first gym battle, where my last challenge came crashing to a halt. I'm in much better shape now than I was then, but... I will still need luck. Fortune at my side. And then just maybe, this will not go as poorly as last time did. 
focus energy first. Maybe I'll regret this move later, but I don't expect much bad can come of it. That was bad. That was exactly what I had hoped focus energy would not cause to happen. This could turn sour very easily. Come on, come on, something not rocked. This could not have gone worse. Oh crap, oh crap. Am I gonna lose it? I better not lose this. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I did. If I lost Mikole, that would be essentially Game Breaker right there. Here's Nose Pass, Roxanne's second Pokemon. Using Harden, which freaks me out a good deal because I'm going to attempt to kill it with physical moves. Okay. Double Kick is a two-hit KO. And Roxanne uses a potion. I think that's her last item. So if you can get through both of her potions, then you have a decent enough chance of getting through Nose Pass alive. But... This could still go quite sour. And without a single critical hit from Focus Energy. <sighs> That's a relief. But it was a much closer call than I was... than it could have been. Rock Tomb did not miss once. Ordinarily it has an 80% accuracy, and if you, the player, are using rocks, Rock Tomb, it will hit about half of the time, maybe less. Especially when you need it to. Can now use the HM move cut outside of battle, which means I can go back onto that one route and get that one item. I will take a walk briefly then to collect my thoughts. Oh, she says something different now. Okay. Or not. So the TM she gives me teaches Rot Tomb, the move that you saw the Geodude using on me. It lowers speed. That was the reason why I was slower than Nose Pass. That was the reason why I freaked out. It's got an 80% accuracy, which is very gimmicky, and I could give it to Mikale. However, the issue with that is that Rock Tomb has an alarming tendency to miss when you really, really, really do not want it to miss. It does that. It does that often. So, on one hand, Focus Energy has been has proven itself to be something of a useless move. My attempt to experiment with it has failed. I had never used Focus Energy before. It is supposed to increase my critical hit ratio, but I scored not a single critical hit on any double kick maneuver against Roxanne, and if I had, that battle would have freaked me out a lot less. I'm going to give cut to Lily the Zigzagoon, because Lily the Zigzagoon is not of a very high level. He gives you advice before the battle, but I forgot to talk to him, so, because I was kind of freaked out, so, oh well, guys. Okay, with that done, the event triggers. So now I can go east from up here. Don't take my goods. So he got robbed again, because Team Aqua seems to enjoy robbing him for some reason. Now the Team Aqua members scurried off in this direction, but I'm not going to go in this direction now because I have an item to fetch and I have my breath to catch. Oh god. That gym battle went a lot better than I was afraid of, but it still revealed a couple of key weaknesses in my team. Oh, well that's entirely useless. It revealed that Mikole can take less Rock-type moves than I thought, and that perhaps, none, and that none of my other Pokémon can I put any real confidence into taking moves at all. I fear for Phantasm's life every time I use him in, him in a battle, even though he's at level 11, which is more than decent. Something is this way. Some item is this way. Here we go. Miracle Seed. That's what was this way. That's a good item. It boosts the power of Grass-type moves. Um, If I'm not mistaken... Okay. 
So I'm just briefly going treasure hunting because Great Ball is something that I can almost promise you I will need at some point in the future. Um, something is that way. I don't really want to hop this ledge. Wait a minute. I have to come back this way anyways, so if I remember, I will just hop that ledge then. Um, you will see why very shortly, but I do eventually have to come back this way, so I can still get that at- Oh, I didn't know this was here. Well, Tiny Mushroom is basically a useless item because it doesn't do anything. So hopefully I'll remember to go down through that section when I next have to come around here. And that will prevent me from running into too many Viridian Forest Pokemon. I say Viridian Forest. Full of lies. Petalburg Woods Pokemon. Um. Well... That was enough suspense for today. I think that I'm going to save it here. Badges 1, Pokedex 5, playtime 2 hours and 43 minutes, oh my god. Until next time, this has been a very... Oh god. <laughs> this has been a Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.